Hey y'all, Attorney Tom here. First day back in the office from last week's winter storm. The point of today's video is to address the question, who is responsible for damage to your home caused by a pipe bursting? Before we get into it, could you please take a second and hit the like button and subscribe to this channel? Every time you hit the like button, it pushes the video out to the algorithm, so hopefully more people can see this video and get help. According to multiple news sources, last week's winter storm could have caused multiple billions of dollars worth of property damage. It seems everywhere you look, pipes were bursting, homes were being destroyed. Here's a video of my sister's apartment in Austin. This is after I've cleared out a bunch and filled so many buckets of water. It's disgusting. And I don't need to tell you, if you personally haven't been affected by somebody with a bursting pipe, I'm sure you probably know somebody who has. So let's get down to business. Who pays for the damage? Are you going to be on the hook for that? Or is your insurance company going to cover it? So the answer is going to depend. I know that's the most lawyer thing ever, but please hear me out. And I'm literally going to put a siren right here because this is important. The very first thing you need to do is immediately check your insurance policy. That's because some insurance policies in Texas only have a 48 hour time frame to make a claim for accidental discharge or a plumbing leak, which causes subsequent damage. If you fail to make a claim within 48 hours of the leak happening, you could be barred from bringing a claim altogether. That's because essentially what this provision says is that if you don't make a claim within 48 hours of the pipe bursting, it's not considered an accidental discharge. Therefore, the insurance company won't cover it. Well, hey, Tom, isn't that total BS? It is. It's totally BS. The insurance commissioner should in no way allow a provision in a policy like that, but they have. So before we get into any more details, the first thing you need to do is if you have water damage, make a claim. Now, whether the insurance company will pay it or not is one thing, but at the very least, you want to be in the game. You want to make the claim on time. The second emergency I want to cover as of today, February 22nd, Texas officials have issued an order preventing utilities companies from sending bills or disconnecting people for non-payment of utilities. This is because as we see the aftermath of the winter storm coming in, we've started to notice that some citizens have been receiving ridiculous energy bills. Myself included, I actually received a $202,000 bill for my natural gas, which is usually about $30 a month. I made a video about it here. It ended up being not correct, and the energy company emailed me saying it was the wrong number, but still it was scary. But nonetheless, we are seeing people with $15,000, $20,000 electric bills just for last week. So hopefully the government figures that out and people don't have to pay that because that's total BS. Okay, now let's get into property damage and homeowner's insurance policies. Under homeowner's insurance policies, there's multiple types of water damage. Most homeowner's insurance policies cover for accidental water damage, such as pipe breaks. Also, most policies cover if rain damage gets into your house as a result of a storm. And generally, that's defined as a leak in the roof or a window or something to that effect. Not flooding from the ground up through a storm. Down. But to be very clear, coverage varies by policy. So make sure you read your policy, talk to your agent, understand your policy, or talk to a lawyer. But in general, what will your policy pay for? If your policy covers water damage, it will pay to replace your home and the things you own. Additionally, it might cover additional living expenses, ALE, if you have to move out of your home as a result of the water damage. For instance, if you have to stay at a hotel for a couple nights or even have to rent a house for months at a time while your home is being repaired. And that's not all. ALE can include more than just rent. It can include food, gas, other expenses incurred while living outside of your home. But while your policy will hopefully cover the results of the damage, the furniture, the floors, XYZ, it generally won't cover the cause of the damage. Let me give you an example. Let's say your hot water heater broke and that is why water went everywhere. 
Your policy should or hopefully would cover the damage to the floor, to the house, but it won't cover the cost of a new hot water heater. I've attached a great resource in the bio to the Texas Department of Insurance. They have an article just about these specific type of claims. It's going to be down below. So I'm going to end this video with my recommendations. If you suffered pipe damage, this is what you should do. The first thing, make a claim immediately. Do not delay. You could be one of those people with a 48-hour provision in your policy. So do not delay. If you see water damage, make a claim immediately. The second thing you need to do is take pictures of everything and save every little thing. If you have a pipe broken, save the pipe. If there's a pipe leak, take videos of the leak, take pictures of the leak, take pictures of all the damage. To be crass, the insurance company's job is to pay you as little as possible. Every dollar they save by not paying you goes directly to their bottom line. They will give you a hard time about everything. So be prepared for that. Record conversations with the adjuster. Make them put any denials in writing. Make them put any other extra contractual request in writing. With so much damage done to the community, market rates have gone up. The price of supplies and the price of labor is going to go through the roof because there is so much demand. And I anticipate the insurance companies will try to negate that. They'll say, oh, your contractor is charging too much because they use a BS Xactimate formula that is literally meant to screw you over. They don't know what's reasonable. They don't know demand. They don't know how hard it is to get people to replace your home. Expect a battle. And finally, if your insurance company is giving you the runaround, talk to a lawyer. Texas law provides for penalties, interest, attorney's fees if insurance companies are wrongfully denying your claim. So lawyers are here to help, but I hope you don't need to have one. I hope the insurance company treats you right. Just from personal experience, it happens once in a blue moon. Okay, to recap, make a claim immediately. Take thorough pictures and videos. Record conversations with your insurance adjuster. Get them to put demands in writing. Okay, that's it for today's video. This was just a brief overview. I will be updating everybody as this situation progresses and big lawsuits start to get filed. If you have any more questions regarding this storm or any other storm, please make sure you leave a comment down below and like this video, subscribe to my channel if you wanna be part of my community. We're here to help. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'll talk to you later.